Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about JavaScript. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, given the gigantic army of really talented software engineers that Google and Facebook have, why don't they make an attempt to create a new pure programming language for the web so we don't have to stick to JavaScript? because more people than Google and Facebook uh, are using JavaScript and the investment in JavaScript is absolutely enormous at this point it would be I would say that for that to go away it would be equivalent to try to do open heart surgery on the web or similar a similar sorts of thing it's uh, it's going to be enormously costly and take many, 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 many years. And honestly, I really, really think it's interesting. I, or the, I, the people who usually hate on JavaScript, they seem to always, like, I mean, I think you're, it's almost a little bit pathetic that you, do you really have such a problem with the language that you would will, you are willing to live through the migration from that language i mean uh, to each his own of course but i see i look at this as a similar sort of th sort of thing as to well it's not a very fair comparison i will admit but it's a similar thing to the people who have realized that the keyboard layout on our modern day keyboards well that's not as optimal as, the, as it could be so you can change the layout to something that is more optimal and for some reason they're frustrated when the rest of the world doesn't feel the same way because the rest of the world feels like this is good enough and that is pro pro probably the best answer that you can get to this question it is working good in uh, well enough JavaScript is working well enough there are tons and tons and tons of issues with JavaScript security wise and otherwise but it is working well enough and the investment as I said to fix this would be absolutely enormous. Google and Facebook would have to pretty much, it doesn't really matter, Like because this the thing is, it's not a matter of that they have an army of talented engineers, because I mean that army, that it doesn't, that that's not something that's kind of factor in whatsoever. The TC39 um, standards committee and the groups that are behind adding new features to the language it, guys the it's not we're not talking about thousands and thousands of people we're talking very about a a smaller group of very dedicated individuals who really care and push push things forward to do this thing and it's the same it was the same thing with golang it was the same thing with kubernetes and so forth so it's not that google and facebook could not do this i mean google tried with dart didn't go so well it really is a matter of do we really need to fix this problem and honestly I don't think that the that that this really is a problem that needs fixing as much as it used to be it, there was a time when we really needed to fix it and I mean if you look at something like TypeScript by Microsoft I think that that is probably the nicest fix I've ever seen and then we have things like the Deno initiative the demo project that is also moving things in a security perspective and so forth so I don't really see a need for this continuous conversation about oh we need to get rid of JavaScript from the perspective of of real issues the really honestly most of the time when I talk to people who have a continuous issue with JavaScript it's more from a personal perspective than anything else there are tons of languages that have issues guys there is even not even your favorite language is going to be perfect I'm not saying that JavaScript is perfect and I'm not saying that it couldn't be better I'm simply stating that I'm the investment at this point is very similar as I said to the keyboard layout or the metric system or ooh, doesn't really matter it is it is something that is there where the investment is so large that we have to think very carefully about the cost value ratio here what is the value of ejecting this thing and how much is, much is this going to cost us because if the value is that you feel that you have a nicer language well then I'm very sorry to say that your counterpart on whichever and I mean 
for literally whichever language you decide is going to be the new web language. There's going to be a whole slew of other people who are going to go from, oh, uh, JavaScript was much better. Uh, they're going to go and say that JavaScript was better, or they're going to hate on your language, because I'm very sorry to say that there is no objective way of picking the perfect language for for anything you do. So you might as well pick something that works well enough. So what I want you to take away from this is that I think that the re the reason why Google and Facebook don't invent another language so we don't have to use JavaScript is because the well, the investment would be absolutely enormous. There would be almost no value in, in it because JavaScript is on it's doing the job at this point. There's really nothing that you, you, you with a rewrite of how the web works comes an enormous cost because basically what you're saying is that Google and Facebook would have to take on the responsibility of creating a new standard which they absolutely have the capacity to do and creating a new language they also have the capacity to do that but they're gonna have to convince all the other browsers to, to implement the said new language they're gonna have to convince the entire world because the world is bigger than these companies to move from JavaScript to some other language, and that's going to take years and years and years. And some a lot of companies will not make that migration. How much, you, no matter how much you push them, you would have to put them in a situation where they have a lot of incentive to do so. And tra historically, the reason, if you haven't thought about that, why certain languages are the favorite languages is because they are designed for a specific platform. JavaScript is for the web. C sharp, uh, Objective C and Swift are for iOS, Java and Kotlin for Android. And these platforms, they are the drivers behind what languages we consume in the real world. And for better or for worse, JavaScript has historically been a language that has been working well enough. And today, with modern tooling such as TypeScript and Deno and so forth, we're moving into a direction where JavaScript has gone from, in my opinion at the very least, a bad language or fa fairly unstable language to being one of the best languages around. And that's just my opinion. Have a great day.